Blender 2.81 has a new shadow filtering method. It is called PCF. You can find uh, more into that information on, on um, this uh, link I will uh, provide you later. In uh, practice, um, here you see Blender 2.80. Here you see Blender 2.81. And on the right, Blender 2.81, you still see some light leaks. You see a slightly improvement, but if you do the right uh, settings, then you can get a red of all the slight leaks. So um, what you can do is increase the cube size. You see a difference if I put it on uh, 5, 12 pixels or... So that will uh, reduce the light leaks. Then if I select my light and I go to the light settings and then I go to the shadow section there are two ways I can reduce this light leak or uh, decrease the bias or increase the thickness uh, both of them give uh, artifacts uh, to start with the first one if I increase the thickness of the contact shadow the thickness then you see right here you see a shadow is coming up so Blender thinks that this should be a contact shadow well the light is coming from there so that's a bit strange so and then if you make an animation then you see the strange effect you don't see it uh, well right now but if you animate it it's very annoying to have that so uh, now <laughs> and that's, and yeah, so you don't want to have that too much I think you can put it somewhere around 0 0.06 I believe and then qua bias there is an uh, artifact called self-shadowing we'll jump over to this camera I believe this is an effect called self-shadowing and if I select this light and I go here I can get rid of that self-shadowing by increasing the bias or not, yeah so that artifact goes away but uh, while I go away I've seen we, we could reduce light leaks by decreasing the bias but then we get this kind of artifact that is then not for the contact shadows but the bias for the shadows At the moment I cannot find I cannot reproduce those artifact for the bias so uh, if you know how I can reproduce this because if I slide here uh, that doesn't uh, matter but I cannot find um, any effect of the bias right now so I put it uh, very high although I don't see it so but I know that if you decrease the, the bias then you can get artifacts so you don't want to reduce it all the way so the to come back to the light leaks so I suggest them to decrease the bias a little bit maybe I, in this case I will put it to 250 and then that uh, I increase the thickness a little bit and then I got no light leaks over here using another, another example this is uh, just a plane and that's very hard to get all the light leaks away you can use a solidify modifier then you don't see light leaks as well but this is uh, very hard um, that's pretty much uh, it 
So if you get uh, comments, uh, let me know.